Hello everybody, I am Phoenix and today I'm going to be talking about elitist hippies. What the fuck? You know, could you imagine any more of a contradiction than an elitist hippies, considering hippies generally are characterized by principles of love and light and enlightenment and equality, you know, equal grounds for all and respect, and peace, love, unity, respect. You know, and then you really, when you actually mingle with hippies over a prolonged period of time, I'm talking years, you see there's actually a lot of ego and a lot of uh, narcissism and elitism. And the whole concept of, of equality really does exist more so in theory uh, than it does in practice and in reality. So why, why am I saying all this now? What has triggered me to say this? Well, a couple of days ago, it was my friend's birthday, Serge, very good friend of mine. He's gonna be an amazing, uh, well, he's already an amazing guitarist, but he's gonna be an amazingly well-known amazing guitarist soon enough. It was his birthday two days ago, and we went to The Bird in Northbridge, Perth, Australia, Western Australia, for those that are outside of Australia. Went to this cool little place, it was really homely, and you know, there's a big tree in the back area where people drink and smoke. It was just really like, it was nice, natural, nice, kind of alternative place with alternative people. And there was this guy there who was alternative, he was a hippie, and we got talking, and turns out he had an exhibition on. You know, he had a painting, he had three paintings, canvases up on the wall, and it was, it was all right. And you know, we, we got chatting, and I said, well, you know, you do art, that's cool. You know what I do? I do videos, you know, talks and, and whatnot for, for YouTube. And, you know, I, I got mentioned at the moment I'm working for some content. I'm not actually going for like viral bikes or anything really high quality because at the moment I just don't really have the time to invest into the editing. Um, I don't really have the network, you know. So I said to him, instead of just producing something and putting my effort into making it really hot stuff, it's gonna go BAM, and then it just goes up in a, in a puff of smoke. I'd rather work on getting content down first, and then once I've got a good base of stuff to keep people busy, then I'll make some more high quality stuff. Different things, not just talking videos that's really only interesting to people that it's relevant to, or to people that know me, but uh, I'll make stuff that's actually more entertaining or more just, well, more better to put together, more edited and just more interesting to watch, more engaging. Um, and I said to him, you know, but that's that's going to come with collaboration and networking. And I said to him, you know, it, wouldn't, it wouldn't hurt to chuck in some hot chicks either, you know, in, in terms of gaining more exposure and getting more people to click and to find my stuff. And at this point, this, this hippie guy, who I just gave praise to a moment ago, gets up on his soapbox and starts criticizing me and saying, well, well why, would you, why would you do that? Like, why would you rely on, on tits and ass to to get hits, you know, if, if you, your stuff mustn't be good enough if you if you need to sell out. And I'm like, this is essentially what he was saying. And this 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 turned into one of those really annoying conversations slash debates slash argument arguments slash bullying, you know, where somebody misinterprets something or they just decide for whatever reason to interpret whatever you're saying or doing one way, and then it doesn't matter how much you circle around making the same points, trying to help them understand what's actually going on and help them understand what you're actually doing and the original intention behind whatever you've said, whatever you're doing. Instead of them trying to understand the truth, it seems that they've just made their conclusion, they formed their idea of what you're doing, that they know better what you're doing than you do, so it doesn't matter what you say or how reasonable you are, they just keep reinforcing and affirming their interpretation of what's going on, of why you're doing this. And that's what this guy got doing with me for two hours. We were running circles and it just became more frustrating than it did relieving. We got nowhere with it. And this guy was convinced that my product was shit and that I'm relying on using t an ass, i.e. attractive people to work with, um, just to get hits and he reckons to me it's all about the hits and it's all about the dollars in my eyes unquote it really pissed me off because not only did i find this really disrespectful and quite rude but i was thinking dude i looked at your paintings and i had to dig deep to find something good to say about one of them 
the one that had all the different shapes and whatever abstract stuff it actually had a de some details in it and some you know and I said to me it reminds me of a hangover it's really cool the other two paintings each that was selling for six hundred and fifty dollars it, it looks like big canvases that were kept upstairs in some guy's attic while he was doing painting nearby and occasionally dropping a bit of paint here and there not splashes nothing wild no splatters just a little bit of blob there a little bit of a smudge there a few scratches here you know it looks like something like a five-year-old could have just gone on and made a bit of a mess and it, it was, and even that's making it sound better than it was there was no detail on this and the name animal anemic animal or something like this i said to him oh, i couldn't see the animal what's that about and he goes oh well the name the name doesn't have anything to do with it and i'm like okay so i'm like don't you generally have something you're trying to imbrue in your work like some kind of feeling or experience or idea that you're trying to express through the abstractness you know whether you know, even if it's just rage and you're just splashing your rage out you know, oh, it's just irrelevant, and you know, and that's what got me. Like, I'm not dissing this guy's work, even though I clearly just was. But what I'm saying is that you know, this guy thinks that you, you don't need to put effort in. Cause there was no effort put into this. Like, maybe it was to him, but looking at this, it communicated nothing to me, and it literally looked like an old, old canvas left in someone's place, and it was just wear and tear. Some child attacked it with a few splotches of paint. There was hardly any paint on it. It was just a really worn down canvas, selling for $650. And I'm like, okay, so you're saying that my product and what I do in my art form is crap, obviously, and I've got to rely on tits and ass just to get attention, to make money. Um, like, that's what it's about in the first place. And on the other hand, you've, you've got these three canvases up on exhibition at this little, you know, club, pub, bar area. And I'm assuming that these are your best work because if you've only got three up, you know, I'm assuming you would pick your best work. And you think that they are so great, you know, that you, you, you're justified to put $650 on them. You know, and this is, this is what stung me. It's like, well, I just, I just dug deep to give you praise. And now you're criticizing me. You're telling me why I'm doing what I'm doing for money, for recognition, for hits. And you're telling me that my product is crap. And you're telling me, you know, even though I said that I just acknowledged the advantage that having some attractive people in your videos provides in terms of hooking in people, you're saying that I, you know, you're making out like I'm going to seek out hot people, I'm going to turn down ugly people, seek out hot people, just so I can get hits, just so I can get more exposure. That isn't even what I said, you know. This, this guy was making out that, I, that somehow I thought by gaining attractive people in my videos that that would somehow bestow some sense of quality upon my other videos. And I said to him, that's not even the point. This has nothing to do with product quality. It's all about advertising and exposure and promotion. You know, I'm trying to increase the dartboard so that I can reach as many people as I can. And yeah, I want to go viral. That's, that's damn right guaranteed. I want to get paid, but you know why I want to get paid? It's not just because I want to get paid. It's not just because I want hits. But when, if I am at the point where I'm making money from this thing, and if I'm at this point where my videos are going viral, then that means that my true purpose and intention and motive is being fulfilled. And that is that I am reaching as many people as I can, and I'm influencing people on a great scale, which is my intention. So this is what really shat me. This guy made out that I was doing it for money and all this really stupid stuff, which is totally not me. He never even seen my stuff. And he's already criticizing it like it's shit, even though I've seen his shit and I gave him praise. You know what I'm saying? And that's that's my little vent there, but the point is I'm, I'm a, bit, a bit pissed off. Like this isn't the first hippie I've seen, whether it's hippies that are artists or intellectuals or maybe they're campaigning for the environment or for animals or some travesty that's happening on the other side of the world which is all good and thank you know god bless if there's a god those people for doing those things you know but what grinds my gears and rubs me the wrong way is when these people look down on anyone else you know that they haven't embraced under their wing and the whole clicky fucking gang you know it's, they're even more elitist, they're more hypocritical, you know, if they're about sharing love, sharing light, 
which is what art is about. It's not about the ego. It's not about dissing other people, putting down other artists, making out you've got a better idea of what they're doing than them, you know? It's about inspiring, working together, and trying to provide relief or stirring people inside, you know, and encouraging other artists. That's why I gave this guy praise, you know? And it annoyed me, like, and all I, you know, it was really an off-cuff gesture, like, it was just something I said, it was meant to be kind of funny, with a vague point, and all I said was, you know, it wouldn't hurt to have some hot chicks in my videos, because that would get more people to look at those videos, and then they might actually stumble upon my other stuff, my more meaningful, useful, tactful stuff. And that was the point, that I don't just want to drink, bring people in to watch this really... It's not even gonna be crude stuff. Like I explained to him, I don't plan on it in selling women out and exploiting women like sexist stereotypes. I'm just saying if I had, let's say, a news program where we do alternative news, and if I had five women, you know, and they all had roughly the same kind of quality and it was it was hard for me to determine which one was better than the other, and which one had more to offer, then I, if there were, you know, if there was a really good looking one and she was on par with everyone else, I would choose her because I'm aware that this is a visual medium. People like to be visually stimulated by, you know, aesthetics and what they consider beautiful. So I may as well cater, if I can, to the general concept of beauty and what people like, because it's a visual medium. I want to satisfy people and keep them coming back. And sex sells. That's not to say that I'll turn down someone who's good for the job just because they're ugly. Fuck. If that woman's like plain looking or ugly, but she's got more to give, I'm hiring her or getting her to collaborate with me before I go to the hot chick who's okay at what she does, but she's not as good. You know, it's quality over quantity. It's what's inside over what's on the outside. But I, well, you know, that's all I was saying is I'm aware that there are benefits if you do so happen to work with attractive people in getting more people into your zone, into your channel. And then those people who might be superficial, maybe that's why they watch the, the tits and ass kind of videos to begin with, maybe they'll stumble upon all my other work and find some enlightenment. You know, they'll see a talking video that they would never otherwise watch. And they'll think, oh wow, that the title of that's relevant to me. Oh, small penises, hard to deal with inadequacy issues. Click this, they click it, and then bam, they think, oh, this guy's cool. I'll check out some of his other stuff. And that's one more person I've connected with. Sure, it might not happen that much, but still, even if it's one person that I will reach and hook in, that I otherwise would never have reached and hooked in, and just because I catered to their tastes, then I'm happy to throw that piece of bait out there. I'm not gonna sell anyone out, I'm not gonna sell out myself. I'm just saying, I just, I'm just aware of the benefits, and that's the way the world is. It's a superficial world. You know, this guy was hooked on the notion that if, you're, if your product is good enough, you shouldn't have to rely on that. At the end of the day, Educational videos do not go viral. If you want something to go viral, it's got to be having cute animals, something uh, you know, extremely entertaining, or with hot people, or better yet, the combination of entertaining and hot. And then it goes viral. Doesn't matter how good your educational video is, it's not going to go up there by itself. That's what I try to get to him, that there are people out there that would never even consider clicking on this kind of thing. So there are benefits to providing certain videos that cater to those kind of people. And then when they see on the sidebar, you know, because a lot of the time people just click through on their sidebar after they finish watching a YouTube video and they think, well, what else is on here? And they look for the most interesting or relevant video and they click on that. They might find something that's a talking video that is interesting and relevant. And then bam. So that's the point. It's, to me, it's obvious. And I try to make it clear. And this guy was so lost in his ego, so lost in the need to, to reduce me down and to degrade me and to denigrate, you know, my integrity and my intentions for what I'm doing. And it, it shits me, man. That's not what art is about. And I think if you have to operate from a place of ego just to feel successful about yourself, and maybe it's projection, you know, maybe some people feel the need to reduce other people down and to, you know, degrade the quality of their art and their sense of worth just to make their own sense of worth feel bigger and just to make their own art be more worthwhile, more valuable, you know. But it really, if it's ego and if it's projection, stop projecting through art because there's no ego in art. And it's not art, it's just an extension of your ego. And seriously, judging by what I saw on those walls, 
It's not even a nicely dressed up extension of your ego. It's not that appealing or interesting. Really. Jesus Christ. And that's what shat me, man. This guy never seen my videos and he's saying it's shit. I've seen this guy shit and I'm saying it's good. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's just fucked up, man. So yeah, I think there is a tendency with hippies and these people that are in the alternative groups, part of minorities that care, that are enlightened, that are on this whole new age, spiritual fucking wank bank, wank fest bandwagon. I think there's a tendency for them to become the oppressors themselves. Yeah, ironic much. And a tendency for them to start dissing anyone else in two extremes and putting people in spectrums. You're either with me totally, or you're like totally not, and you're doing everything for the wrong reasons, and you're, you suck at life. And really, I think that's quite hypocritical, and it doesn't make you, you any better. It doesn't make those kind of people any better. It doesn't separate them all. In fact, it unifies them with every other typical egotist, selfish, superficial, deluded egotist and narcissist out there. It, it just bridges the gaps. It doesn't create any divide between those kind of people and them. It's all the same, really. It's just some have dreadlocks and these weird notions that don't really warp their way into reality. Man! Fucking hippies. Seriously. That should be so ironic. Yeah.